S-Bahn, U-Bahn, Stadtbahn, Strassenbahn, M-Bahn, Schreberbahn, what's going on? If, like me, you're from the UK, you're probably used to keeping your trains, trams and metro systems neatly separated. Germany, on the other hand, is a little bit more open-minded when it comes to mixing modes, which can be a little bit confusing. On the other hand, unlike the UK, which tends to name its individual systems on a whim with no logic or consistency whatsoever, Germany has a systematic and logical system to naming and branding its urban rail transport systems, using recognisable symbols which can be found in cities all over Germany. Starting with the Strassenbahn, your bog-standard street-level tram system, which can be found in Frankfurt am Main, Essen, Dusseldorf, Nuremberg, Munich and many other cities. In Berlin, however, they're generally just known as the tram. Next is the U-Bahn, which are generally independent rapid transit metro systems running both underground and overground. Think Paris Metro or the London Underground. They can be found in Berlin, Hamburg, Nuremberg and Munich. Then the S-Bahn, local rail service is generally run by Deutsche Bahn. In major cities like Frankfurt, Hamburg and Munich, the networks include purpose-built tunnels under city centres to free up space in main station termini. Think RER, Thameslink, Crossrail or Merseyrail. In Berlin, S-Bahn trains run parallel to mainline services along the east-west line, as well as through the purpose-built north-south tunnel. In smaller cities, S-Bahn networks just provide local rail services on existing tracks. Think Northern Rail, but if it was actually good. Similar branding for local rail services can be found outside of Germany, in Austria, Switzerland, Denmark, where the lines around Copenhagen are branded S-Tog, Belgium and Czechia. One rung above the Strassenbahn is the Stadtbahn. These are sort of hybrid systems, tramways with sections of underground running, usually under the city centre to reduce congestion in the streets above. Many of these systems came about in West Germany after World War II, as cities built tunnels for their existing tram systems with an eye on turning them into fully separate U-Bahn systems in the future, which usually didn't end up happening. Thus a temporary solution ended up becoming permanent. Such Stadtbahn systems can be found in Cologne, Essen, Hanover and Stuttgart. Though the systems are not technically U-Bahn systems, some systems have the letter U in their line numbers, and the U-Bahn logo often appears in underground stations in the city centre. In Frankfurt am Main, there's the confusingly named U-Bahn, which is in reality a Stadtbahn system. It's probably named that way to distinguish it from the separate Strassenbahn system in the city centre. Outside of Germany, the concept is generally known as pre-metro, a good example can be found in Brussels. In Essen Hauptbahnhof, you can see old DLR trains on the Essen Stadtbahn, a metro system with sections of tramway, with lines denoted with the letter U, as well as trams of the Essen Strassenbahn, a tramway with a short section underground, because that's not at all confusing. Another system using the name Stadtbahn is Karlsruhe, but not because it goes underground, rather because in Karlsruhe you have trams and tram trains. Confusingly, the system as a whole is known as the Strassenbahn with mainly numbered lines, with only the select lines running tram train services denoted with the letter S, and these are known as Stadtbahn lines. Got all that down? I'll do a dedicated video all about Karlsruhe and the tram train model later on. In the meantime, tune in tomorrow for the Cologne Stadtbahn with some rather familiar looking trams. Auf Wiedersehen and please subscribe.